and welcome back to another episode of Reinventing the Meal. Today we are making pork dumplings or pork wontons. I don't entirely know the difference, but we're pan frying them and we're steaming them. I'm calling them dumplings. For these pork dumplings, you are gonna need some ground pork, uh, some green onions, cilantro, soy sauce, sesame oil, uh, some garlic. If you can find it at your local store, ginger is awesome, but I couldn't find any, but it's not the end of the world. Black pepper, dumpling or wonton wrappers, they do the same thing. So if you see wonton wrappers, they're dumpling wrappers. It's the same shit. And then you'll need some cabbage. If you can find Napa cabbage, awesome, but I couldn't find any, so I just got like the pre-bought, pre-shredded cabbage. That's totally fine too. Your prep for the most part is super easy. You're gonna go ahead and chop up your green onions and you're going to chop up your cilantro and you are going to set that aside. You're gonna put your ground pork in a bowl and you are going to add your soy sauce, your sesame oil, your black pepper, uh, go ahead and add your minced garlic, however much you want. I love garlic, so I just load that shit up. And then you're gonna add in your cilantro and green onions, but not all of it because we want some of that for garnish later on. And then add a generous handful of your shredded cabbage. For a little added bonus just for me, I wanted to add in a little fish sauce. Once you have all of that in a bowl together, go ahead and give that a solid mix. I like to use my hands because it makes it a little more thorough, but if you are scared of touching raw meat, which you need to get the for that, by the way, you can use a spatula or something if you want, but I'm telling you, just use your hands, don't be a baby. Once once it's all mixed up, you should have this really beautiful filling ready to go and you are gonna get your assembly station ready. Go ahead and get a cutting board and a bowl of water. Uh, the water is so you can wet your hands to seal the edge of the wonton, similar to what egg wash does when you're sealing things together, but you're doing it with water. And then from there, be careful not to overfill your dumplings. You just wanna put like a little tablespoon of the filling because if you overfill, they're obviously gonna split open and it's not a good time. And then you just repeat the process until you are either out of pork filling or out of wonton wrappers. I went ahead and made like 50 dumplings, so I accidentally meal prep dumplings for the week, but that's fine. I'm not mad at it. And then to cook these, you're gonna put some olive oil in a pan and put that to medium high heat. And we're just gonna pan fry these until they're a beautiful golden brown on each side, but they're not done yet. And then once you have a nice golden brown color, you're gonna add in a few tablespoons of water, and then you are going to cover your pan with a lid and you are going to steam them. This will finish up their cooking process and then you will know when they're ready, when the wrappers themselves are that translucent kind of color and they are no longer uh, just like white in a way like they were before. And then once they've steamed, you're good to put those on a plate and you're good to dump them in soy sauce if you want, but I wanted to top mine with some homemade chili oil and then garnish them with some cilantro and green onions and you're set, you're good to go. And then yeah, once you got your picture for Instagram and everything and you showed it off to your friends, uh, it's time to eat these. Mmm. Ooh wee. Oh, it's so good. It's been cold outside recently here in Atlanta. With that chili oil, these will heat you right up. I love how the dumplings themselves have this like little crispiness on them for when we pan fried them. You of course got the like umami and meatiness of the pork. You got the aromatics of the green onions and the cilantro. These are, these are so good. If you feel like wrapping dumplings for about an hour, like I did, and meal prepping about 50 of them, <laughs> These are perfect to have in your freezer and stuff, and you just do the same thing you did. They just might take a little longer to cook them. These are so good. This chili oils make me some spicy boys, but these are really good though. Mm. And that's when you know. Another clean plate club on camera. Mm. Ah! Okay, that was extra as f Highly recommend you make these, uh, especially for the upcoming winter and make them a little spicy, I'm telling you. I feel the sniffles coming on, but it's all right. I love spicy food. I love things that hurt me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for season four.